Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quotes Quotes, a new series I'm considering doing regularly where I basically just talk about topics of interest to me, express my view on that topic as well as going through other views. This is going to be more of a ramble session rather than in sort of a in-depth tick for tack analysis, but I'm hoping that it'll save me having to repeat myself as often while streaming. Today I'm going to go over the overall vibe of Sandstorm's competitive firefight, how it's received by old Source veterans, new players, and how I personally perceive uh, the reactions that I I seem to be getting. First of all, let's go ahead and get this cleared up right away. I do not believe that the competitive firefight in Sandstorm is like finished as far as changing and all that is concerned, but I also don't think it's too far away from being finished. Um, this is New World Interactive's first stab at launching a game with even a hint of competitive focus. The comp community in the past has been less than pleasant to deal with, speaking both from personal experience uh, and I'm sure to an extent from a developer perspective. Comp players are a very driven, willful, and passionate group of people who don't skirt away from um, voicing their thoughts regardless if the thoughts are fundamentally based off of an emotional response there are times where i'm honestly relieved i was able to retain my love of source both from a casual stance and competitive stance because oftentimes what you come across is whenever you get into the competitive scene you never end up enjoying the casual experience the same way and it's a really tough line to go through. This is very important to mention because New World built Insurgency firstly to be an artistic depiction of first person shooter combat with their own passionate skills pushed to the limits to see what they could achieve in a video game. They didn't have a vision for a competitive scene. They had no intentions of promoting any sort of league or competitive community and I think that a lot of comp players need to remember that as we go to Sandstorm from Source. Because Sandstorm is just like the original Insurgency, a passion project that is focused mainly on appealing to the masses of disenchanted first-person shooter gamers firstly, and the competitive community secondly. That being said, we're now in a completely new environment. New engine, new maps, new mechanics, new weapons and attachments. We see a return of old ones, sure, old modes, of course, and that core mixture of sounds, effects, and visual stimuli that's been trademark core insurgency since the mod, but it's not insurgency source. Gone are we from jiggle peeking, prone shooting, right peek abusing, hitbox inconsistencies that we as a player base grew used to. And instead, now we're on the opposite end of the spectrum. We're trying to play through optimization gaps, server lags, new net coding, new matchmaking queuing on machines that we're used to running insurgency and seeing 300 plus frames with. But the playing field is different, guys. We've upgraded from sod that's caked with weeds, and now we've upgraded a turf that hasn't been settled yet. I say it hasn't been settled yet because it's all there right now. The body and the core is there. It just needs to be pressed down and played and just optimized, like get pressed down by all these different pairs of cleats. The players who wear those cleats though, they can't be just standing on the sidelines staring at it with distaste because they know that it's gonna be different. It looks the same, sure, but from the sideline without playing on it, the question is, do you just sit on the sideline and let other people sub in for you to play? Or do you take the initiative to be a pioneer on this new field? Being a pioneer of change isn't easy, especially when the vast majority of your fellow teammates aren't happy with all the changes. They liked the way it was. They want it to be the same. But personally, I've always been a fan of progress. This game marks the biggest jump in progress I could have ever hoped for to see in Insurgency. Because for almost three years, Source saw nothing but tiny patches for optimization or bug fixes. And by bug fixes, there are still bugs in that game. It's just they fixed the major ones. And that means that for the most part, the gameplay has remained unchanged unless you play on a modded server or theater. That means the game's been stagnant. That means it's been dying. And the only reason that the comp community even kind of had a, a second rejuvenation period, if you will, is because of Sandstorm being announced to begin with. And despite that having that second wind, the active player base at the end of Insurgency's source numbered fewer than 150 players worldwide. Again, from 150 players worldwide. And that's from a skill range that goes from noobs who have never played any sort of shooter competitively in their life, all the way to veterans who have played Insurgency as their primary shooter for the last three or four years. That is not a healthy skill range to have in any game, but especially for a competitive scene that wants to be known and be more accessible. I'm not going to go over all of the like complaints that I hear from a large number of quote unquote insurgency veterans because the list is too long. And if you are, if you really care that much to hear that, you can go to Reddit or Twitter and get the unsummarized version. Also, the list has a startling number of suggestions that in my opinion go against the game's new design and limit the potential. You know, some of some of the critiques include the map design 
campaign and the various range of engagement and stuff like that. But the thing to remember is that the maps on Insurgency Source were smaller than on Sandstorm. Not only were they smaller, they weren't nearly as open. I mean, all of the angles that you hold are these super tight angles where the experienced players would basically run to those locations at the very start of the round. They would hold those basically until they got killed or traded out, even in public servers for the most part. That kind of design is not nearly as exciting to watch, in my opinion. As a spectator, if you watch an old Insurgency Source match, what you're going to see is a lot of cross picks at the beginning, a lot of rotations at at the beginning if those kills happen to go down but if there's ever a point in time where the main positions are never compromised unless the timer goes down to zero and one team decides to take a risk and step out onto an objective there's no movement that's not fun to watch in my opinion that's not fun to play the meta like everything about source the standalone it limits competitive play and it limits the strategy the overall strategy that's available yes there's still tactics are important yes team communication and people with good aim you know because you can't be perfect with your aim all the time obviously that plays a role in the outcomes i'm not saying it was boring to watch i'm just saying it was the same. It got to a point where it was no longer progressing. And I don't think that it was a bad idea to completely come into Sandstorm anew. And it's funny that all these comp players have that kind of opinion. They have that weird mentality where these maps are too big. They're too open. There's too many lines of sight. I missed a close quarter combat. I mean, yeah, you say that, but that's because that's just what you're used to. People are scared of change. And honestly, I think better players are players who can play in multiple different manners. Play different play styles don't just be a sniper don't just be a flanker don't just be a b bitch don't just be a, a turret you know and that's really important to me going forward i was trying to compose in my head some sort of i guess alternative to the, the game mode but honestly i don't have anything else to suggest as far as the map design they took my suggestion about the triangular format that way alpha and charlie actually get played in standalone you never saw alpha or charlie get like the ac strat was never a thing on any map basically it didn't matter what map it was if you played bravo you could cut off the other objective so it didn't matter if you if the other team was quicker to get to to bravo it didn't matter what you still had to fight for bravo because bravo was the only way to secure a firefight map but i am so glad that that's not the case in sandstorm almost every single map i've played in the competitive pool the alpha and charlie strat is actually very viable for both sides on hideout in particular the the bravo objective is so security based like security just gets on there so quickly like it pretty much forces insurgents to play ac but it's actually viable like insurgents can actually get to alpha and charlie in the moment that's security starts focusing on that they stop focusing on bravo it's really easy for the insurgents to come back that is important that is not something that would have happened in insurgency source so i just i want to see a stop to all of the we need to make the maps smaller the maps are still too big i don't like how open it is that mentality needs to go away also the argument about the weapons still have too much recoil i can't spray long range anymore like i could in source and it's like you you need to change your skill set. This is a new game, ladies and gentlemen. And from a new game, if it played exactly like the original standalone source, I would be severely disappointed with the developers. Not even just as a player who wants progress. As just somebody who really respects design and, and daringness to take new risks, like I would lose interest because it would literally just be rehashing something that's quote unquote tried and proven. Which, to be honest, if it was proven, then the player base wouldn't have been so small back in source. Just something to think about. Like I said, that's really all I have for today. I'm not I'm not wanting to be too detailed. I don't want to start any sort of shindig. I just wanted to get my voice out there. I just wanted to voice my frustration at these thoughts and at all of these suggestions that I view as being downgrade to the, what the game has accomplished already. And it's my hope that the developers just stick true to the vision that they have and they trust the process and trust their format and just keep on narrowing down the little details like get the matchmaking fixed get the queuing system worked out get rid of that spawn bug where you know sometimes your teammates don't spawn in fix those things and then we can start talking about making tiny tweaks to the actual format because right now i think the format is unique it is still core insurgency and it's still tense and fun as hell to play so that's all for this episode of quotes quotes hopefully we'll have more in the future thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you guys on the live stream Peace out. Enjoy peace of mind.